Hey guys, it is now July here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and my townhouse is west facing with zero tree cover. This means that sunlight beats down on all of the windows in front of my house for over eight hours a day, and my air conditioning system is now having trouble keeping the temperatures down in some rooms when it's over 90 degrees and sunny outside. If you're in a similar situation, with less than $100 and a few hours of your time, you can cut down on your electricity bill, help keep your home cool in the summer and warm in the winter, eliminate harmful UV rays, and increase privacy by installing heat reducing film on the windows of your home just as you would tint your car windows. If you watch this video in full and follow all the tips here, I'm very confident that you'll get professional looking results and have fun doing it. Here's everything that you're going to need. Of course, you'll want some window film. I recommend Gila, which is the most well-known brand of window film. This product can be found on Amazon. Please use the provided links below in the description to support this channel, or they can be found in Home Depot or Lowe's. I decided to go with Heat Control Titanium, which cuts the heat by 72% and UV rays by 99%, but it shouldn't make my windows look like mirrors from the outside. Gila has several types of film in terms of appearance, benefits, and sizes, so please do your own research on what's right for you. In any case, you'll probably want to buy the adhesive type because they are way easier to install. You also might want to buy the Gila application kit, which comes with a cutting blade, a plastic squeegee, a lint-free cloth, and a spray bottle of application solution, which as far as I can tell is just soapy water. You can buy this kit for about $10, which in my opinion is way more expensive than it should be for what it is, but it does make installation simpler for beginners. Other things that you'll probably need is some sort of a long straight edge. I'm using a shelf from a cabinet, which I know is, it seems like an odd choice, but I'll explain why later. You'll also need a measuring tape, a razor blade, a roll of tape, and a sharpie. That's it. By the way, I'll also mention a couple of other things here. You will need a large, flat, clean surface to work from. Do not work from the floor and certainly not the carpet since you'll get a bunch of dirt or lint on the film. And you'll also probably want a helping hand. Doing this with two people is a lot easier than doing this by yourself. In terms of prep work, you'll first want to vacuum all the dust and spider webs around your windows. It's going to get a little bit messy later, and you don't want any debris to end up between the film and the glass. You'll then need to razor blade the windows to remove any bumps or stubborn residue that remain on the window. Anything other than a completely flat, clean surface will show up when you apply the film and make it look awful, so take your time with this. You'll then want to measure out all of your windows. One, to know exactly how much film you'll need to buy. It's not exactly cheap. And two, so that you can pre-cut the film to make installation much easier. I'm noting how tall and wide each of the windows are and reducing it by roughly eighth of an inch. I do want to pre-cut the film, but give myself at least a tiny margin of error so I don't have to get it perfectly aligned when I come to set the film on the glass. Now, you'll want to find a large clean surface that you wouldn't mind running a blade over. For most people, that will be the kitchen countertop, and start pre-cutting the film. I want to mention that you don't have to pre-cut the film to the exact dimensions of the window. You can cut the film to size once it is on the window. But I've done this several times at this point now, and I prefer not to since cutting the film while it's on the window can be very tricky, especially around the corners. And cutting the film exactly to size does reduce waste and saves you from potentially having to buy more than you actually need. The reason why I'm using a cabinet shelf as a straight edge is actually because of its weight. I want to be as precise as possible and the shelf helps uh, weigh the film down flat and keeps it from shifting around. You can use a sharpie to write the orientation and position of the pieces that you are cutting. Just make sure that you're writing on the plastic cover side or the adhesive side of the film and not the part that's actually going to go on your windows.
take one of your pre-cut sheets and you'll need to peel the plastic layer off of the adhesive side. If you have trouble separating them, put two small pieces of tape on a corner to help you get started. You'll want to spray the application solution as you peel back the plastic layer to soak the film. And this also helps weigh the film down on the table so it doesn't roll on you. Please do this slowly and gently. It is very easy to get a crinkle on the film and if you're not careful, uh, once it has a crease, it will show up on your windows. Then apply a generous amount of application solution directly to the window and gently apply the film. If you used enough application solution, the film should not stick. It should glide on the glass and easy to re uh, reposition. If it feels like it's sticking, you can peel the portion back that is sticking and apply more solution. Don't be skimpy with the solution, and if, you th if you're if you kind of running out, uh, just add more water to the bottle. I'm pretty sure it's just soapy water anyway. I found it the easiest to slide the film up to the right position and let the rest of the film find the right position from top down. If you got it positioned uh, right and it's aligned, you can use the plastic squeegee to remove the solution in between the film and the glass from middle to out. You can also apply the solution on the outside of the film to help the squeegee glide on the film, but I found it kind of unnecessary to do so. You have to press on the squeegee pretty hard to get all the liquid and the bubbles out. Take a paper towel and soak up all of the excess solution around the edges as you work. Speaking of which, if the edges or the corner of the film rolls back on you, don't freak out. It just means that the adhesive isn't working because it's still too wet from the solution. Take a paper towel, wrap it around the squeegee, and give it another go. The paper towel will soak up the solution as it gets driven out on from the edges and the film should stay put. If even that doesn't work, just leave it alone. After about an hour, the excess solution will have dried and you can just come back to it later to press the edges back down. It's not a big deal. To cover six standard size windows, it was about $90 for two rolls of Gila window film and the application kit. I ha already had all of the other materials that I needed on hand. It took me about five hours for the project, although if I wasn't fussing so much with a GoPro to make this video, I probably could have done it in three to four hours. I do like how the windows look from the outside, which is basically to say that it doesn't look like much at all. I, they just look like normal windows, which is what I wanted. I didn't really want the windows to look like mirrors, and I think if you weren't looking for it, you probably couldn't tell the difference. But inside, there is a big difference. I could tell even while I was working that the film did a great job of reducing heat. Standing in front of the filmed window was much cooler and easier on my eyes than standing in front of a window without the film. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video in a couple of months on how big of a difference it actually made in a long-term review, but I'm pretty confident that I'll enjoy the results. If your garage is super hot, I made a garage door insulation video that you should check out. And if you happen to be an automotive hobbyist, consider subscribing because that's what I usually do on this channel. Hope you guys all have a great summer. See you guys next time.